Hey, hey, so if you're a homeowner, someone who is looking at getting into the housing market, a renter, or simply just a real estate enthusiast, then you've come to the right place today because we're gonna be going over the latest data for November 2023, which was just recently released by the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. So at a quick glance, you can see that we had 4,236 sales last month with an average selling price of $1.082 million. Both of these numbers were down slightly month over month. Sales are down just over 8% and the average selling price of all all asset classes included was down 3.9%. Also, if you look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that condos and detached properties remain the most popular asset class for Toronto home buyers actively looking right now. But take this with a grain of salt. Remember that the Toronto landscape is really built up of many different submarkets. Condos, for example, the inventory rate of condos available in Toronto was way higher than detached properties and actually sat at 5.46 months of inventory in November 2023, meaning that this market is actually in balance and actually tipping a buyer's market which means that it's a really great idea to start shopping if you were potentially thinking about hopping into the condo market at an affordable price right if you're an owner in this type of environment and don't necessarily have to sell i would stay put continue making my payments and hold off until the market is a little more favorable economists are now forecasting that we will see a series of rate cuts next year in 2024 here in canada which would stimulate the market and make it a more advantageous time for you to list your condo if you're a home seller. I'd also like to note that a lot of the inventory for sale in the downtown Toronto condo market right now is held by investors looking to offload their units, whether it be that they're over leveraged or that the gap between the rent and their monthly mortgage payments is just becoming too much to handle. This does present a great opportunity for a renter looking to make the jump to home ownership. Keeping with the downtown Toronto investor scenario, there are currently almost 300 one bedroom condos for sale in the downtown court under a price point of 600 thousand dollars this means that you can actually negotiate take your time and really find a deal in this segment of the market now looking at detached properties here in the 416 area code of toronto those were sitting at an inventory rate of 3.2 months so although that it may take a little bit longer to sell your home as a seller competition here still remains and it just has kind of entered a more balanced territory if you are someone who is looking to purchase in this kind of environment right now there are great opportunities again in many parts of the greater toronto area i know that sentiment is kind of gloomy at this point which is keeping a ton of buyers pushed onto the sidelines but really take into consideration two things one your own goals and two your timeline if the bank of canada does cut rates next year then the pool of competition will likely be larger making it a more difficult market to transact in my colleague and i have actually just re-onboarded a client who has been looking on and off for the past a little while but they now feel like it is the right time for them to make that jump right again i'm only telling you this story to reiterate the fact that now could be a good time for you but it may make sense for you to wait, right? Everybody has their own unique situation. Before moving on, my name is Trey and welcome back to my channel where I discuss all things real estate with a special emphasis to make the market easier to understand and digest here in the GTA. If you like this type of content, I would like to ask if you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I would also like to ask if you want to have a quick chat about anything real estate related, please feel free to do so by booking a call with me directly using the first link in the description and you can pick a time that best suits your availability. Now, back to it. Although buyers are finding themselves in a situation with more options to choose from, the number of active listings actually went down 14% from a month prior and new listings decreased by almost 27% in November 2023 compared to October 2023. I don't want to harp too much on sentiment as I've already discussed that in this video, but it seems that if sellers are not getting the numbers that they're liking and they're not in that basket of people that actually have to sell, that they're just pulling their homes from the market and they're hoping to relist when conditions are a little more favorable and when rates come down people are saying again that hopefully this happens at the end of q2 or the beginning of q3 next year in 2024 i want to wrap this video up with a quick quote from john d michelle the treb ceo he says we know the demand for homes both rental and ownership will grow for years to come it also goes without saying that further policy work is required to bring more supply online when referring to mortgage renewal and requirement changes canada is still over 3.5 million housing units shy of meeting their desired target to 
restore affordability by 2030. And we're actually getting further and further away from this goal as developers have pulled back on projects until it makes sense economically for them to build, right? I'm also not sure if you saw, but there were another whole crop of homes in Voluntaria that just burnt to the ground, which is kind of suspicious. So to summarize, there's a lot going on right now. Policy changes in the Canadian real estate market, economists thinking that rate cuts are on the horizon, which would alleviate some pressure on Canadians. Many people are putting out their forecasting and prediction videos for next year in the real estate market. Ryan Serhant, the GOAT, sees prices going up in 2024. I know he's in the United States, but I thought that that take was interesting. I hope that you found value from today's video. And as always, remember to trust the process and fall in love with your journey.